is how I play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Alright, that's, sounds good to me. And, you know, let's keep this positivity rolling. Right now everything's good. So let's, let's keep that positivity rolling. Positive vibes. To me a dollar. Just thanks for keeping things positive. On that note, what's the thing trolls get wrong about you and what's your thing you get wrong about trolls. Uh, I don't know. Because the bottom line is I try not to pay attention to them. I would say about 99% of the stuff they say about me is false. I'm a thief. I'm a scammer. I'm a liar. Uh, I'm a pedophile. I'm, uh, abusive. What it is is based on a nugget of truth or something that happened at one point in the past and they try to spin it into something that's, like, forever. In, in reality, the reason that most people dislike me is because of misinformation and having a very immature mindset, thinking that the world is black and white. I don't believe the world is black and white, and I think that over the years I've become a lot more of a, a mature person that understands that. No! That things are not absolute, things are not black and white, and that, you know, everything changes over time, and you gotta change and adapt, and, you know, it is what it is, but that's not how these people think. They have these immature, very puerile, very childish mindsets of the way that the world works, and they think that things are funny that are not. Anyone who's mature would know that these things are not funny, and they hurt people. Um, and, you know, that's what's messed up about these people, you know? And the, the bottom line is, before the internet era, they didn't exist. These people couldn't even exist because there was no method for them to, to do this kind of toxicity anonymously across the planet. But now there is, and now there's a whole new era we gotta fucking live with, right? Um, but I couldn't tell you about, you know, things I get wrong about trolls, because I don't know. I don't pay attention to them. All I know is how they affect me. That's the truth. I don't know much about them. All I know is how they negatively affect me. And boy, have they negatively affected me over the years, so. Alright, everybody, I'm back. Frog's playing golf cheer. He says, if we hit 600 subs, can you play Frogger? Sure. We'll find a way and we'll play Frogger. How about that? If we hit 600 subs this month, I promise you I will play Frogger. How about that? I'll find a way to play it. Whether we emulate it or we buy some kind of a modern remaster, I'll play Frogger for you. There you go. Yeah, I'm a gamer! I'm not a high-level gamer at all! Finally, we have a big new release hype. Today is the premiere of Mortal Kombat 11, and I'm excited, as you guys know, I'm a long-time fighting game fan and former pro player in the Street Fighter realm. Now, there's one thing I'm going to say up front, and this is, sadly, something that's going on right now, okay, um, in regards to Mortal Kombat 11, alright, just going to be very honest with all of you, um, Mortal Kombat 11, sadly, all the videos seem to be getting demonetized on YouTube. Oh, shit! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit YouTube is saying that Mortal Kombat 11 is too hyper violent to have advertisements running on gameplay videos of it that there's too much gore and too much violence, and no advertiser would possibly ever want to have an av advertisement on a video of Mortal Kombat 11. Despite the fact that there are, you know, so many things out there, any adult-oriented television show, movie, you know, probably advertisements for things like, like Avengers and things would make perfect sense on Mortal Kombat 11. It seems everyone's videos are getting demonetized on YouTube. Think about how stupid that is, okay? Absolutely fucking stupid. Okay. Day one views, day one inflated views, make the money. But for me, part one of the playthrough was like, that's do or die. That's going to be the part that's going to get the most views out of the entirety of the playthrough. There's no way I could not have, you know, monetization on part one. That's insane. Okay. So what I'm going to say is this. If you like Mortal Kombat, if you like my coverage of Mortal Kombat, if you want to see Mortal Kombat continue, please consider contributing to the streams. Be, you know, oh, he's an e-beggar. 
Oh yeah, Phil's an e-beggar. Phil's always been a beggar. Disgusting beggar. Reason being, I'm probably not gonna make a heck of a lot, if anything, on the YouTube videos. It's gonna be hit or miss what YouTube auto-detects as violent and, bl and gory, or what it doesn't. And when I played the beta, in fact, I think I made... I'm trying to remember how many videos of the beta I actually made. I think two of my videos did get demonetized. Two of them. Um, so I'm thinking about, you know, in my head... Let's say, for example, today, I make four gameplay videos of, the, of you know, Mortal Kombat 11, and then another two later tonight. So let's say I make, like, six to eight videos today. If three or four of them get demonetized on YouTube, that's awful. It basically means that half my work I don't get paid for, okay? So again, please consider, um, definitely please consider, uh, cons uh, you know, contributing to the streams if you like MK11, because that's the bottom line is, you know, MK11 is a game that I know I'm probably going to get demonetized, all right? Now, already I'm going to tell you guys, uh, I don't know why people keep bringing this up. Phil, didn't you know all, top streamers are all doing sponsored streams on NK11? I cannot do sponsored streams because of my negative detractors who basically spam the living shit out of the two companies who I did sponsored streams with last year. Um, I was shut off from the program. <laughs> Twitch loves me and my streams. Twitch is the future. I did absolutely nothing wrong. My streams were great. My sponsored streams promoted the games in a positive light. But because those assholes went out of there and harassed the shit out of the two companies who I did sponsored streams for, uh, I'm not allowed to do sponsored streams on Twitch. So please stop bringing that up because I'm never going to get a sponsored stream ever again because of those shitheads. It has nothing to do with me. Chronic liar. You know, it has to do with the shitheads who go harass people who I'm, in, you know, any kind of sponsorship with. All right. So it sucks. Okay. It sucks. This is the situation that... You know, I like streaming. I have sponsored streams that I did worked out well, but I'm not going to get offered any more sponsored streams because of the shitheads. All right? Just like every, all the other opportunities over the years I've missed off out on because of these people, uh, it's the same thing. I rely on you guys, the fans, and the viewers to basically continue to be able to do this. So again, please consider contributing to the streams because that's going to help out with the fact that, number one, everything's getting demonetized on YouTube for Mortal Kombat 11, and number two, I can't do sponsored streams like everybody else. I don't get the same opportunities as everyone else because I have a horde of toxic little shitheads who follow me around. Ah, uh, the salty tears. Now, continuing on. Um, outside of all that, one final thing that I will say, guys. Um, I mentioned this yesterday, but I'm going to mention it again so that there's no uh, misunderstandings or misconceptions. Here on my streams, I appreciate a variety of chat, and I appreciate people getting hyped and having fun, and that's what I want. But, chat derailment is not allowed. We've always had rules... In effect here on my streams that say no emote spam, no text spam, and no derailing of the chat. It says it right there below the stream. If you have never seen the rules before, I recommend you look below my stream right now. They're publicly listed, okay? Uh, reason I say this is because there's been some people acting up over the last few days, spamming emotes, and trying to derail my stream. If I'm playing Mortal Kombat 11 and I turn back to the stream and I see a bunch of people spamming emotes that have absolutely nothing to fucking do with what's going on on the stream just so that they can derail it, you're all gonna get banned. Why am I toxic? More toxic, more toxic. I'm just going to ban. It's that simple. That's what the rules are there for. The rules are there to make sure that everyone can have a good time. Today's a new release. People are going to want to talk about the new release and react to it and my gameplay. You know, we have over 30 emotes of mine that you can use that are all on topic. So, you know, spamming off-topic emotes to try to derail is not allowed here. And I'm not going to put up with it. So just, uh, just, you know, wholeheartedly telling you guys up front so that way there can be no misconceptions whatsoever and people getting confused about what's going on. Um, I'm not gonna allow it, alright? So, please, be understanding of what's going on here. I'm not gonna put up with that shit today, alright? Just not. <laughs> I love donuts. Tipped me a dollar. And he says, Are you worried that fighting games at this point have run their course? It seems top streamers and gamers have moved on to other genres. It may be best to adapt for interactive streams and more subs. I mean, I, I love donuts. I've already said this. I've said this for a long time. The fighting game streamers, knowing I'm a competitive fighting game player and all I do is play fighting game, I could never do that. I'm just being honest with you. I couldn't do it. For me, I get bored. Like, I enjoy fighting games, don't get me wrong, and I grew up playing fighting games, and I love them at a competitive level and a casual level, but I couldn't just sit here playing fighting games constantly all day long. <laughs> I think you're absolutely right. What many of the top fighting game streamers have realized is that they can't just maintain what they're doing by only playing fighting games anymore. They have to branch out to other genres. They have to branch out to other things to make a living. I get that, because that, that's what I do. I'm a variety guy. I don't just sit here and play Mortal Kombat for weeks on end. You know, even though some fighting game players, that's all they do. This is their 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 one thing. 
their forte is to play fighting games. I couldn't just do that. I would be bored. I would hate my life and my job. I'm serious. Like, I've been there. I used to be in the fighting game grind. I would play fighting games at home with my friends. I would go out to the arcades and play it against other competition. I would travel the country playing people, and then I would go to tournaments. I've lived that life, and I don't want to go back to it. It's not a very good one. It's actually a huge grind. It's boring as shit, and it actually makes you get burnout. Because I do a variety of stuff, it allows me to not get burnout. Fuck you. You're a liar. You know, I'll be I'll be honest again. Every day is like, man, I gotta play another game offline. It's gonna be me grinding through this fucking game, not having to do all this commentary on the game solely and nothing, right? And it gets boring. It does. After a while, you definitely get to the point where it feels like more like you just gotta get through this game to get to the next one so people will watch rather than having fun with the games. Okay. And that's a good thing about being a variety streamer. Um, and that's why later this week, after only two days of Mortal Kombat, I'm gonna be doing Days Gone, and I'm gonna be balancing Days Gone with Mortal Kombat, and I'm gonna be balancing more chill streams with this stuff later on. Because I know, just playing fighting games is not gonna work. I get it, and you're absolutely right, I love donuts. I think, finally, what these streamers are realizing is, being a one-trick pony doesn't work anymore. You have to branch out to the other stuff that people wanna see, if you actually wanna make a living doing this, okay? So, there was a time, don't get me wrong, there was a time during the era of Street Fighter 4 and, and Marvel vs. Capcom 3 when it was a huge thing and people could make a huge living doing it during the era of big money on YouTube and then big money on Twitch and all of that. Um, but now, I think the hype for fighting games has died down a bit. You've got a few fighting games that maybe you could still do really good with, like Dragon Ball Fighters and stuff like that. But outside of that, you know, Street Fighter 5, meh. And I think now we're, we're coming to the point where people are realizing, alright, fighting games are great as a genre. But it can't be the end-all, be-all of what you do as a content creator. You gotta do other stuff. So. Mortal Kombat! Dun, 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 Don't you miss the old Mortal Kombat theme from the 90s? I do. Just want to say thanks everyone so far. Earlier today was a very supportive stream. So thanks to anyone who did cheer Silver Tip earlier today. I need that money. I really do. I need that money. To pay my bills. Tonight, if you guys cheer Silver Tip, I will give you a shout out during the stream. I'm able to pause the game. I figured this out earlier. I could pause the game during cutscenes and, and, you know, during ample times to give you shout outs for your contributions. All right. We are trying to push towards a sub goal. Sadly, we lost a bunch of subs. And you might say, well, why? It's because today is the one month anniversary of when I played Sekiro last month. Okay. And so when I started playing Sekiro last month, we gained a ridiculous amount of subs within like two days because people were so excited for Sekiro. And now. That hype died out, obviously, and those people have not resubbed as of yet. So if people do come in and get excited for Mortal Kombat and sub, great. But I can't make them, you know. People, the attendance was great and the support was great, but the subs are down. You know, hopefully we do get more subs in the next week because I would obviously like to do the monthly goal this month, which is a viewer's choice event. Let's see what happens. All right. Um, I don't get super hyped for new releases these days anymore. I just don't. I am not willing to violate my own beliefs and my own values to just become a sellout shill streamer and i don't want to become mr dollar bags mr oh i don't want to be the 80 percent of streamers who has to fucking rely on every little hype game becoming overhyped and over marketed so they can make an extra buck outside of all that i don't know what's going on with mods today we only had one mod here earlier today and no one's here now um so i don't know what happened because they were all here all week when there were no new releases and now there's a new release and there's no mods figure that one out um, I don't know what, what, why, so it is what it is. I'll be doing my best to moderate tonight. If, you know, we don't get any mods tonight, I apologize. What I'm going to do is talk with them overnight and find out what the hell's going on. Where are they? That they're not showing up? Um. And I may, moder mo uh, I may mod a couple new people. I'm not going to do it on the fly now out of nowhere. Um, but I may do it, like, overnight. Maybe a couple people I may mod because... I'm going to need moderators. I got new releases, so I don't know where the hell they went. You know, everything was fine. Like I said, every day we had mods here, no problem. And all of a sudden, the new release and no one's here. <laughs> oh, no. Don't worry, King Gokin. The frogs are not going to be taking over the chat. Because I'm just going to fucking ban everybody. <laughs> it's going to be a very simple situation where I just go ban, 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 and that's it. And then I continue playing, and I don't care. Uh, it basically, the stream was very toxic. Every single day he comes in, he's toxic. He's toxic. Every fucking day, he's toxic. Every day he's here, he's toxic. Yep, I'm toxic. Oh my god, they're... I'm toxic! I'm fucked! I'm dead. In fact, right now, the... purposely right now, the stream chat is in fo one-day followers-only mode, and it will continue to be in one-day followers-only mode, uh, because I can't moderate myself. You know what I mean? 
There's no way I could do that, so. Save the pig! <laughs> what the heck? A pig with a party hat. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Piggy. The secret piggy. Save the pig, the game. The whole game you're trying to save the pig's life. Help! Help! What pasta do you prefer? I prefer a penne. Oh! Easy to eat. Oh! Phil's a faggot. Phil's fat. Phil's a loser. Phil's a beggar. Phil's a racist. Phil's a scammer. DSP is a pedophile. DSP is a thief. DSP is a greedy fuck. This on? guy's a bitch. I have a micro penis. <laughs> Alright, I'm not dead, but I swear to god I wish I fucking was.